Right, I'm about to talk about math at a really big picture level. We got two kinds of reasoning that we use a lot in mathematics. One of them is called inductive reasoning, and you use this when you're looking at little situations, looking for a pattern, trying to build a rule. So, recent situation that you looked at, you had the number of grapes increasing by a certain amount, and if you analyzed that situation properly, you would have found that there was a constant second difference, right? Starting with the little pieces and building up to a general rule. Deductive reasoning kind of goes backwards from that. You start with a law, you start with a general rule, and you apply it to your specific situation. So if you had followed the instructions that I gave in one of the videos carefully, properly, you would eventually have come out with this rule. If I start with that rule and apply it to that last situation, situation number four, where I didn't count the grapes yet, I could find out that there's 24 grapes there. Okay, and I could also, you know, do the same thing to any other situation. Now, that's just an example of what inductive and deductive reasoning looks like. It's on my mind right now because there's a lot, a lot going on inside of Philly, a lot going on inside the United States. Uh, that had me thinking about values. What do I value? What's important to me? And how does that influence the way that I interact with different situations? How does that influence the, the way that I deal with the world, right? We always have these two things in play. The things that are important to us, the things that we value, impact the way that we see the world. But there is also a level at which what is happening in the world can impact our values. It can change it can change the level of importance that we place on different things. Uh, it can at, at times completely alter the trajectory of a person's life. So I'm going to ask you to think about some of that stuff and actually maybe even write it down, list it out. What are your core values? What do you consider them to be? And where do those come from? What matters to you? And then looking at that list, think about, and again, maybe write this out, how does what you care most deeply about influence the way that you're thinking about recent events, whether it be COVID, whether it be police brutality, protests, looting, how does what you believe matters most influence the way you think about all of those things? And then I also want you to think about whether recent events have caused you to rethink any of your values. Have some things become more important in light of what has happened recently? Have some things become less important to you? Are there any, any plans that you're making or any decisions that you're making right now that are that are directly influenced by what you see around you right now? Uh, is there a new path that you might want to travel? Anyway, it will be a good exercise for you to write some of that out. You don't, you can, you can choose to share it with me, you can choose to share it with others, you can choose not to. I know it doesn't feel very mathematical, but I promise you, at the top, mathematics is more about how to think than it is about what to think. I believe that this is a timeless question, something that you can work through today and something that you can revisit two years from now and five years from now. Sit down every once in a while, pause, and actually work through what is it that I believe in? What is it that I think matters? And take a look at how it's impacting the way you do life and vice versa. What's happening in my life right now? And how is that potentially changing what I see as important, what I value.